I'll talk briefly about tax reform. Donald Trump came out with this. And I, you know what I want to say? It's too early to really judge where this tax reform thing is going. They put out these numbers and, you know, one side says it's going to help the rich. Another side says it's going to hurt the rich. It's going to be too much. But just I just want you to notice the difference between the way they rolled this out and the way they rolled out health care. Because this is what Trump knows about. This is what he cares about. He cares about this a lot more than health care. He basically is fine with, like, you know, government health care. But here he, here's Donald Trump making his speech, rolling out uh, tax reform. And you can just see he's much more comfortable with the whole thing. This is a once-in-a-generation opportunity, and I guess it's probably something I could say that I'm very good at. I've been waiting for this for a long time. We're going to cut taxes for the middle class, make the tax code simpler and more fair for everyday Americans, and we are going to bring back the jobs and wealth that have left our country, and most people thought left our country for good. We want tax reform that is pro-growth, pro-jobs, pro-worker, pro-family, and, yes, tax reform that is pro-American. So, I mean, that's Trump, and he's much more detailed. He had a much more detailed thing of what he wants. He had a red line. He said he wants the corporate tax rate down to 20 percent, which would, is only in keeping with the—it's the, around, around the average of the world. I mean, we have the highest corporate tax rate in the world at, like, 35 percent. The, the average is something like 22 percent. So bringing it to, down to 20 percent, he had said he wanted 15, but putting the red line at 20 percent is not that radical. It's not radical at all. It would really help uh, bring— uh, and he's also making provisions to bring some of that offshore money that left because of Barack Obama to bring some of it back. And Chuck Schumer did his usual routine. When Donald Trump was talking about this plan over the last few days, he talked about focusing on the middle class and not helping the wealthy. The plan is a major disappointment because it so deviates from everything the president said. He's walking the wall. He's sorry. He's talking the talk. But this plan shows he is not walking the walk. So, do people ever get tired of Schumer's this Schumer coming up with these little clever phrases and everything like that? I, I don't. I don't think they do. I mean, he, he always sounds the same to me. He always sounds like this. Guards, Dad. Hey, hey, I'm hey, hey, Mama's I'm boy. One. Mama's boy. I bet you're gonna cry. Come on, Mama's boy. Let's see you cry. Come on. So the only, never mind, the only thing, the only thing that I, I think gives this, some people are saying it's going to be harder to get through than health care. Some people are saying it's going to be easier to pass. The one thing you have to say is the Republicans know if they don't pass this thing, everybody's going to be Roy Moore. Uh, Paul Ryan was on uh, Hannity. And uh, listen, listen to the way he's talking about this. This is cut three. We better get it done. And the answer is yes. This is one of the most important things we could do to help all Americans in this country. We ran on this. This is the kind of plan that Donald Trump ran on, that House Republicans ran on. And yes, we're going to get this done. This is about economic growth. It's about bigger paychecks. It's about more jobs. It's about a fairness system in our tax code. So we're really excited about this. That's why we spent all this time working with the president and, yes, working with the Senate and the House to make sure we're on the same page. So we work off this common outline, this common framework to go from here to get this done.